Lettuce is a great starter plant, especially leaf lettuce. If you've never gardened before, lettuce is a great place to start. It germinates quickly, grows quickly, and you can start harvesting in less than a month. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to go from seed to harvest, including some easy science-backed companion planting to keep your lettuce pest-free, and some space-saving ideas to allow you to grow more in a smaller space garden. Hey, I'm Brian with Next Level Gardening. If you're looking to join an online garden community that offers tips, tricks, and support to help take your garden to the next level, you're in the right place. Get started now by clicking subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss anything. Now let's get growing. Let me know in the comments what your favorite lettuce variety is to grow. For all lettuces, timing is key. You can start indoors in a freezing winter 10 weeks before your last frost date. And then you can transplant them outside three to four weeks before your last frost date. Lettuces can take frost and keep going, but if a hard freeze is expected, you're gonna wanna cover them up with some kind of floating row cover like fleece or anything to keep the frost off of them. If you wanna sow them directly into the garden, you can direct sow six to eight weeks before your last frost. There are two main types of lettuce that you can grow, leaf lettuce and head lettuce. Head lettuce takes more time and more space, and leaf lettuce is quick growing and can be tucked in just about anywhere. Lettuce is like a moist, rich soil no matter what type you grow, but they will grow in most spaces and can even handle partial shade in the summer, not in the winter. If you're growing it in the winter, it needs at least six hours of direct sun. Now lettuce is primarily a cool season crop, so if you're trying to grow it in the summer and you have hot summers, it's probably not going to work. You may have to wait till fall. But in the cool season, it germinates very easily and quickly as long as temperatures remain under 80 degrees. That's 27 Celsius. The seeds are very small and it's easy to sow them too thick. They do need to be thinned out to about four to six inches apart for leaf lettuce and 12 inches apart for most head lettuces. Now this section here is more than ready to be thinned. So starting at one end, I just get some scissors and I leave the first one and I cut off at ground level anything between that one and the strongest looking one four to six inches down the line. The reason I cut them off rather than pull them out is when they're this close together, the roots of the ones you are keeping are entangled with the ones you're pulling out. So pulling disrupts and dislodges the roots for the ones you're keeping and can stunt their growth or even kill them. And you can eat the thinnings, so there's no waste. But if you hate to pull up maybe hundreds of baby plants, there's a little trick that I can share. Take an old spice bottle with a shaker top. Put a couple tablespoons of sand into it, along with the seeds from one seed packet, and shake it up. When you sprinkle the contents out, it will naturally space the seeds out among the sand. You'll probably still have to thin a little, but nowhere near as much. Most lettuces are surface sown, but some need a thin covering of soil, and you wanna really make sure you keep them evenly moist until they germinate. In the winter, when the garden isn't full of nutritious fruits and veggies, or in the height of summer when it is, but you might be choosing to eat other things instead, Ritual Vitamins can help fill in the gaps in your diet. They include just the essential nutrients you're most likely lacking. They're gluten-free, sugar-free, allergen-free, colorant-free, vegan-friendly, and non-GMO. What I love about Ritual is their transparency. You can easily find on their website every nutrient used, where and how it's sourced, what it's made from, and who supplies and manufactures it, because not all ingredients are created equal. Ritual offers both a men's and women's multivitamin, a 50 plus formula, prenatal, postnatal, and one for kids and one for teens. They also offer a convenient delivered to your door subscription. For only a dollar a day, you get just the high quality vitamins that a typical diet is lacking. To fill in those nutrition gaps, just take two capsules daily. The delayed release capsule design makes them gentle even on an empty stomach. 
Right now, to help you start a lasting habit, you can get 30% off your first month by clicking the link in the description and using code NLG30. Start your new year off on the right foot with the support of traceable, high-quality products you can trust. As the plants grow, a liquid organic feeding helps to make more robust leaves and can be applied every two weeks. I use Neptune's Harvest Fish and Seaweed Formula. The reason I fertilize is to bring on really fast growth. Fast growth gives you not only more lettuce more quickly, but it makes the lettuce sweeter and crunchy. A slow growing lettuce will be soft and bitter. In the case of head lettuce, you wanna make sure the head is the right size before harvesting. It should feel firm and completely filled out before you cut it off from the stalk. Now, I haven't grown a lot of head lettuce uh, other than romaine types, and even with those, I treat them as cut and come again, like a leaf lettuce. Cut and come again just means you remove the outer leaves frequently for salads, and new growth will continue to grow from the center of the plant. Now you can also just clip off the entire plant about an inch or so above the soil and it will regrow within days. You can get three or more harvests this way from each plant before it gives up. It will eventually give up, so it's best to practice succession sowing. And succession sowing just means sowing some seed every couple weeks throughout the season so you'll have new plants coming along uh, in time to replace the old ones who are worn out. And you also don't want, you know, two 10 foot rows of lettuce that you now have to use up really quick. Lettuce can sometimes be attacked by aphids, flea beetles, and cutworms. Studies show that planting alyssum next to lettuce protects it from aphids. And they're a great visual combination as well. Alliums like garlic and onions also have a scent that aphids don't like. And because they're a root crop, they won't mind sharing the soil with some shallow rooted lettuces. Plus, lettuces grow so fast, they'll be done way before the onions and garlic ever start to bulb. Other slow growing crops make a great space saving companion plant for lettuces. Uh, you can use broccoli, cabbage. These crops take up a lot of garden space for a long period of time. And so you can have crop after crop of lettuce uh, in and around broccoli and cabbages before they even are ready to harvest themselves. Flea beetles like radishes even more than lettuce. So a trap crop of radishes with the lettuce, maybe a few feet away, uh, they're gonna flock to the radishes and leave the lettuces alone. Cutworms can eat lettuce leaves or cut off the entire lettuce plant at the base. So if you plant dill among the lettuce, that's gonna attract parasitic wasps who lay their eggs under the skin of the cutworm. And when the wasp babies hatch, they will kill the worm by eating it from the inside. I know with this video, you're gonna be growing sweet, crisp, delicious armfuls of lettuce in no time. If you learned something, please give the video a thumbs up consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, share this with a gardening friend, and I'll see you next time.